Hi, hello. I'm here with a study about tardive dyskinesia. Let's click it and to read it this review study quickly. This study, so it's my first time reading the article, uh, and I'm not sure which journal is this, actually. But let's read this. Um, clinical significance of pharmacogenomic studies in tardive dyskinesia associated with patients with psychiatric disorders. So, movement disorder unit of Australia. Pharmacogenomics is the study of the effects of genetic polymorphisms on medication pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics. It offers advantage in predicting drug efficacy and toxicity has already changed clinical practice in many fields of medicine. So then knowing genetics will help to predict tidal dyskinesia in the future, obviously. Here seems many retrospective case control and cross-sectional studies have examined the association of Stockholm P450 en enzyme, dopamine, serotonin and oxidative stress enzyme, enzyme gene polymorphisms with their occurrence and severity of TD. So these studies have produced conflicting and confusing results. Is this same meaning conflicting and confusing results? Yeah, conflicting results are confusing generally. Secondary to heterogeneous inclusion criteria and other patient characteristics that also act as confounding factors because some people smoke, some people do not smoke, some people are uh, are on different uh, antipsychotics and people so also the dose of the medication impacts this paper aims to review and summarize it and seems to be and assess its clinical significance for psychiatric patients so it defines and mentions the rate of TD and I'm looking for something particularly about the disease about the problem so this is uh, CYP1A2 or other Stockholm P450 enzymes dopamine receptors and its sub subtypes dopamine transporter gene and BDNF Uh, manganese dependent superoxid dismutase and so it seems like very long article and how many references there are many references used here so I want to read the con come to the conclusion so there is a lack of prospective pharmacogenomic studies investigating and it, it, it can be really useful uh, predicting it really can be useful Further studies are needed before there is enough evidence to recommend routine genotyping with predictive information. To date, meta-analysis of retrospective studies suggest that the D3 dopamine receptor and D2 dopamine receptor polymorphism are potential targets for prospective pharmacogenomic studies. Conflicting results for CYPD2D6 and CY P1A2 count may also so these are also these polymorphisms may also benefit from prospective well-designed studies, gen, gene polymorphism interaction studies and studies into the epigenetics of receptor polymorphisms. More association studies are required for D4 receptor, BDNF, and those for those uh, polymorphisms. So I'm not sure they have investigated or not. The studies, study, to date, studies have shown no association between those polymorphisms with TD. And thanks for watching this video. And you can find the full article by searching this title. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye.